Hello and welcome to Minerik U, training in 60 seconds. Shaping move profiles, defining maximum speeds and torques, and calculating rotational inertia leads us to the next step in sizing. Now it's time to compare these factors to published speed versus torque curves. This allows choice of a motor and drive pair that has enough oomph to move a load. Most stepper motors can be paired with a variety of drives. Brushless servo motors are usually matched with specific drives. In either case, manufacturers will create speed and torque curves specific to each combination of their products. For steppers, it's important to know that curves are created using stall torques. To comfortably avoid stalling, they should be sized with at least a 50% torque margin. Sizing to points well below the edges of the curve is most safe. Curves for brushless servos are of a different shape. Their curves will show peak and continuous operating regions. Sizing should typically be done within the continuous operating region. Sizing within the peak range is possible, but should only be done if motion is infrequent or moves are short, giving time for motors and drives to cool down between moves. That does it for this training minute. Thanks for watching.